Hi, my name is Noelle Richards, and today I'm here to talk about Natalie Wynn, also known as ContraPoints. I'll be including a brief biography and what she does on her YouTube channel. Natalie Wynn is a transgender philosophy PhD dropout. She currently resides in Baltimore, Maryland after moving there to pursue a relationship. When the relationship ultimately ended, Natalie indicates in an interview with Vice that she hit a low point. During this time, she did anything she could to scrounge up some money, from Uber driving, to piano lessons, to even being a paralegal. It was during this time that she supposedly decided she wanted to start making YouTube videos to respond to radical right ideas. Natalie opened her YouTube account, ContraPoints, on February 3rd, 2011. However, her first viewable video is from April 23rd, 2016, entitled Feminism Did Not Destroy Atheism. Natalie has been largely accredited in de-radicalizing alt-right youth, particularly young men. During her interview with Vice, you can see her reading comments of ex-extremists giving their testimonies of how Natalie has truly opened their eyes. But how did she become so well known for doing this? Well, using her philosophy background, Natalie really breaks down online political discourse in a way that's non-threatening to these right extremists. Instead of trying to break down these disputes with only facts, she examines why people hold these beliefs on a very fundamental level. She explains this as softening people's brains for new ideas. Her approach is truly revolutionary. While this is certainly a new approach, Natalie says that what she's doing is only a piece of a strategy, not an entire strategy. Currently, Natalie's channel is moving farther away from de-radicalization. So I feel it's important to include some more about why Natalie is such a strong creative figure in addition to her political importance. Natalie is also known for her extremely intense visuals. Every video of hers is like an art piece. The visual she includes in all her videos is not to be discredited. Every visual she includes seems to have a purpose and reflects the purpose of the actual video. The easiest example of this is her video, simply entitled Opulence. The imagery in this video solely represents the definition of the word opulence. She covers herself in jewels and glitter and even films the video in an art museum as if comparing herself to a work of art. She does all this to really emphasize how Westerners favor looking and acting wealthy over actual wealth or prosperity. There's still a lot of work to be done, but in my opinion, Natalie Wynn is an excellent start to this movement of de-radicalization. Through her work, she's proven time and time again that it's important to fundamentally examine the roots of our beliefs, whether right or left, and not just whether our facts are fundamentally correct. So thanks to Natalie for expanding our understanding of our political opinions and doing it in such a visually appealing way.